Be sure to subscribe to Viral Now and click the bell so you never miss an upload of ours. Hi there everyone, my name is Jeremy Jameson. Today I am here to bring some previously not discussed info about Vanoss Gaming you may not know. Some of the stuff I have talked about too, but it's just to catch up those who may not know some things about their favorite YouTuber, Vanoss Gaming. While digging through YouTube trying to find some information that's not widely known, I came across a video uploaded on October 13th, 2011, only one month after Evan, that's his real name by the way if you weren't aware, started Vanoss Gaming, the channel. This video though is actually on someone else's channel, a guy by the name of Style69, at currently 1.3 thousand subscribers, and this video I'm talking about only has just a little over a thousand views even to this day. Not a lot of people know about it. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Vanoss, and this obviously isn't my channel. This is Style69's channel, so I want to start off by saying thank you to him. Something I've discussed in a couple of videos here on Viral Now before, but Vanoss early on, when he was just getting into YouTube was always about networking, finding YouTubers to collaborate with. This is how his friend group that we all know today came together for the most part. I mean some of them met each other in a variety of ways, but if it wasn't for Vanoss searching YouTube for newer and smaller channels, the Banana Bus Squad wouldn't be a thing. With that said, I guess Evan found this guy Style69 and got into contact with him. Now I'm not sure exactly how their conversation went, but Style69 ended up allowing Evan to create a video to upload to his channel to get some exposure for Vanoss. It really is weird to think about the time where Vanoss didn't have millions of subscribers. I mean, he didn't even have a thousand subscribers at this point. Once again, this is about a month after he created the channel. In this video, he mostly talks about himself and his interests, which I'll get to in a moment, but some interesting pieces of info I didn't personally know is that at this time, which by the way, he was 19 here, while Evan was in university part-time, he was trying to get a scholarship for hockey in order to move down to the United States and attend a school there. He's Canadian from the city of Toronto, if you didn't know. I'm actually trying to get a scholarship to the States at the moment. So in the reality where he went through with playing for an American team with a scholarship, instead of his channel becoming massive, where would he be today? Could he have made it into the NHL? I don't know, it's just something to think about I guess. You may be surprised to learn that gaming wasn't always a big part of Evan's life. He was always dedicated to hockey throughout his youth and even beyond high school. Once again, as I mentioned, he was trying to get that scholarship when he was in university. Around that age, he played for four teams, the Villanova Knights, Von Vipers, Dixie Beehives, and Aurora Tigers. Actually, to bring up that video he did on the other guy's channel, when he was telling the audience things about himself, he directly mentions hockey while he was in university. Uh, we'll just talk about his love for it. I uh, play hockey. Yes, I know it's very stereotypical for uh, a Canadian to play hockey, but uh, you know, it really is a big part of my life. He also always did take school seriously and made sure it was the top priority. Then having hockey come right after, he didn't have too much time for gaming. Although he did occasionally play, video games didn't become a major part of his life until his late teens and especially early 20s once his channel really started to take off. Another hobby of his is music, which he mentions in the video, and uh, in terms of him playing an instrument, he's actually quite good at the guitar. <laughs> Back to the commentary he did as a guest on the other guy's channel, when wrapping up he talks about his love for music and says this. I want to focus all my time on Call of Duty because that's what you guys are here for. I mean, maybe in the future I could share some of you guys, you know, uh, my music uh, talent, but not right now. I'm all focusing on commentary. Gameplay. This also got me thinking, what if Evan decided to pursue music instead of gaming? I mean, his first ever known video was a remix of someone who has nothing to do with gaming. Also, he is a really talented guitar player. If Evan chased a career in music, he could have been in a very different place in life. I mean, I'm glad he took the YouTube path to bring us all some incredible content, but I suppose my point is, the guy is crazy talented and really, I can imagine him being a professional in hockey, music, and well, of course, YouTube, which is what he ended up choosing. 
Something that you maybe weren't aware of is Vanoss's original channel. Yes, he had one before starting Vanoss Gaming. For sure, there may have been a couple more. But anyways, this channel is called Emix Productions. To my knowledge, the only video that was ever uploaded to this channel was created on July 10th in the year 2011, the same day the channel was created. This first and only video on the channel is titled Angry Grandpa Pecan Pinwheels Remix, uploaded the day the channel was created, once again July 10th, 2011. Vanos Gaming was created not too long after on September 15th in the same year. Now, for the video on Emix Productions, we can tell it's Vanos because of a few things. Firstly, the channel description itself says, creator of Vanos Gaming channel. It would be kind of weird for someone to claim they were an up and coming YouTuber at the time. I mean, of course, this had to have been added after the Vanos Gaming channel was created. But anyways, the video description also says new gaming channel with a link to Vanos Gaming. Uh, another confirmation is that the video itself is a remix of popular YouTuber Anchor Grandpa, who is still going strong in the platform today, but anyways, on the Vanoss Gaming channel, the first three public uploads are remixes of some of his inspirations for becoming a YouTuber. Remixing videos was something Evan was really a fan of doing back then, and to bring up that guest video he did once more, he actually mentioned his remixes there as well. Also, uh, I more recently started remixing music tracks, even remixing videos, uh, making parodies of videos, things like that. And I actually have uh, some of those videos on YouTube already. And also using the Wayback Machine website, we can see a comment responding to someone saying, Um, no, look at the date. This was posted before this. I created this over a year ago. I don't post vids on this channel because I have a gaming channel now. My new gaming channel has similar remixes. Get your facts straight. So this is definitely Thanos. No worry there, but it's just cool to look at him before he became Thanos as we know him today. I suppose referring to him as Evan would make more sense for this particular part. Uh, but speaking of Evan's inspirations on YouTube, uh, which I just did mention, the first three videos on his channel are remixes of Whiteboy 7th Street, who I believe was the largest Call of Duty YouTuber for some time, back when the gaming scene on YouTube was mostly Call of Duty. It's pretty understandable that Vanoss would have been a fan of Whiteboy 7th Street, as back then, the majority of Vanoss's early content, before getting into games like Gary's Mod and Grand Theft Auto V after it released, almost every upload was Call of Duty. Here's a clip from the remix. It doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter, 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 matter what your name is. It doesn't matter. Another inspiration was KYR Speedy, who started doing YouTube a bit before Vanoss, uh, but his content was, and still is to this day, focused around funny moments in-game, which of course is the vast majority of Vanoss's content, funny moments. KYR Speedy, just like Vanoss, has a group of friends he always plays with and uploads his content with. The other two first videos from Vanoss on his channel, besides the Whiteboy 7th Street one, are also remixes of Deluxe 4 and Nobody Epic, two of KYR Speedy's these friends. They are typically referred to as the crew, so Vanoss was a fan of the crew as a whole. To confirm this point, Vanoss also has listed these guys in a Q&A, as well as c as he mentioned. Um, and also, as I did say, the first three videos on the channel are remixes. Yes, that's true. However, there were plenty of uploads before. He at one point made all of his old content private, I guess, so most of it is gone to this day. Uh, but we still can use the Wayback Machine website to see what he started off doing. Mostly Call of Duty content. One early video that someone at some point downloaded before it was privatized, uh, I re-uploaded the video to YouTube. A Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies video where Vanoss trolls the other players. Some random people he joined through public matchmaking. I can see you. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming down my sights at you right now. Why is there much? Where? On top, like all the way up on the ladder. Even back then, in the early days, Vanoss shows that he was always about creating comedy content. The origin of the name Vanoss isn't too exciting, but it's something that is still asked by newer fans, so I figured I should let you all know again. Evan's online name Vanoss is something he took from his father's PlayStation account. His father was not into gaming himself, as he just used the PS3 as a media player, but he did make an account, a PlayStation Network account, called Vanoss62. 
So while he didn't game under this, Evan did when his father allowed him to play games on it. Which was a great choice, as Vanoss sounds so different from any other online name, and the audience likely doesn't know that it's actually in reference to something called Vanoss from car manufacturer BMW. Vanoss is an automotive variable valve timing system. As Evan played on his father's account often, uh, well, he decided to take the Vanoss portion and, of course, add gaming to it. Wrapping up here, something that some of you may have heard about, it's a little old now at this point, uh, but maybe you haven't, is that in the year 2015, Vanoss collaborated with a development studio called 3 Black Dot, alongside CNanners and Pro Syndicate, two other YouTubers and friends of Vanoss, to create a game called Dead Realm, a game that falls under the horror genre. Exclusively released on PC through Steam, the official game description reads, Dead Realm is a creepy, multiplayer action game with beautiful, immersive environments. You can play as either a ghost or a human character and work with your friends to run, hide, survive, or die. The game was actually officially released earlier this year in May. Prior to that, it was still in early access. Although Vanoss rarely plays it on his channel nowadays, it still is supported with updates every couple of months. It looks to be like quite the good game. If you're looking for a horror multiplayer title, I say try it out. Well, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. For Viral Now, I'm Jeremy Jameson, wishing you to have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.